Hi everyone, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. Before we begin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell so you're notified when uh, we make new videos. Thank you! So today, uh, I'm going to be putting up a new antenna. On Friday, a ginormous storm came through my neighborhood and knocked down a few trees in my yard and with it knocked down the fan dipole that I have since put back up. But, well, it's just not tuned so well anymore. And rather than uh, reconfiguring everything, I decided to put up this, uh, which MFJ sent me a few months ago after Hamvention. This is the MFJ 2012 off-center fed dipole. This is for 40, 20, 10 meters, and 6 meters, uh, and it's rated for 1,500 watts. So I will not come close to that because I'm only running 100. So we're going to put this up and check out the SWR, see if we can hear anybody. Uh, I'm not one to say that the bands are dead, but boy, they sure haven't been great lately. But uh, we'll see what happens, so stay tuned. So the first thing i got to do is take down the fan dipole, which is really easy. up with paracord just a simple dipole I made with a this is an MFJ one-to-one -one ballon and there she goes I've been using this thing for a couple years now well ever since I became a general this is the first first antenna I made and it's been working fantastic but it's time to change it so we're gonna do that so this antenna is slightly longer than my other one this is 67 feet long total and the way we have to deploy this, there's four holes, two on top and two on bottom, that I'm going to put some uh, zip ties through to make a, like a harness to uh, tie on to. At least that's the plan anyway. That's what the, uh, that's what the directions show to do. So... I did, so this is, this is made of, uh, it's kind of just a, like a similar box that that QRP uh, tuner I have, <clears throat> the back part, and then they just use this plastic. So it's not sealed here, and I emailed Richard from MFJ and said, you know, is this going to be okay in the Michigan winters when this thing's going to be covered with ice for six months out of the year? And he did, he did uh, suggest sealing it up. So I just sealed it with a couple coats of liquid electrical tape. Um, so we'll see what happens. Fortunately, all the guts of it are kind of on the top of this. And there are these two, there's two holes drilled in here. So if moisture gets in, it will drain out. So um, I, I don't think moisture will be an issue with this. But I'll know if one day my SWR is through the roof. But I did put this antenna up before when I first got it because I was curious to see what it would do. So I kind of already know. So that's how we're going to hang this guy. Give you a close up. So you can see the two holes here in the bottom where I've got that done. And we're just going to rock it like that. So in terms of construction, uh, <laughs> here's, here's my old dipole. I just used 14 gauge wire and I cut some PVCs. This was the old insulator. Uh, and hey, it, it held up. Not bad for, uh, for a new ham and their first antenna. This is the new MFJ antenna. It's just solid, uh, not solid, but stranded bare copper wire and some nice ceramic insulators. So uh, these are <laughs> definitely more high quality than what I did, uh, and got a nice crimp connector on it as well. So uh, we're gonna tie it up and hoist her up in the air. So I just have this hung up with crappy old uh, paracord from from the depot, and uh, just try to tie a little knot in here real quick. And that's it. See if we can go three for three here. Probably not. 
There we go. Hey, I'd say that's hanging just the way we wanted it. Are you getting dizzy yet? You will buy this antenna. You will buy this antenna. <laughs> Here's the hater part of the video. I'm gonna seal this up with some liquid electrical tape purchased from my very favorite store, Harbor Freight. Stuff's expensive even there. It was like 10 bucks for this bottle. But you know what? My last antenna stayed waterproof with this stuff. So I'm gonna trust it for this antenna. Everybody be on the lookout for that guy who's gonna say, oh, you can't use liquid electrical tape. You gotta use the self-amalgamating stuff and you gotta hermetically seal it and wrap it in a condom and double wrap it, hell. Nah, fooey on you. So there, I commented for you. Usually, I just gob this stuff on. Get it on nice and thick. Yeah. Spread some in your ass cheeks. Yeah. Comment if you get that reference. It's time to go up. Here we go. I think that's probably 25, 25 feet or so. Follow the birdie. Well, it's up now. It's, uh, here's the obligatory, you can't see it shot, but there's a wire right there that you can't see. That right there is the center, and then it goes way the hell over by my, by my crappy 17-foot tram antenna that blows. And then I got it tied off uh, to one of those trees there. So let's go inside and we'll put it on the analyzer, see what it looks like and get it on the air. All right, so let's plug in the analyzer and see what we get. So, we are just below the 40 meter band right now at 6.98 megahertz. We got a 1.3, so let's do a quick sweep with the right knob. Let's take a look at 20. So here we are right at the bottom of 20. Impedance is good, resistance is good. Yeah, we're good all the way across. Wow, that's even better on 20. Yeah, that's looking good. And then 10 meters. I think it starts off high on 10 meters. Okay, maybe it starts off low <laughs> and then goes up. I really have no idea what the uh, frequency width for 10 meters is, but... I know it's pretty big and this is looking pretty good. So that's pretty good. So 50, where are you? I mean, this is, this is where I hang out in this little swath of six meters. So that's, uh, that's pretty good for me. I don't really go higher than 313 for FT8. But, just for giggles, yeah, 2.2 at the high end and 1. Point, uh, where was the low end? 1.3, no. So it's actually resonant below the band. So it might be a little long, but that is definitely, definitely usable without a tuner. 
So everything we've done would be all for naught if it didn't actually work. So let's see what our radio thinks of it. We've got our meter set to SWR, and our power is at 95%, which on a 100 watt radio is 95 watts. So we're a little over 1.5 to 1 there at the bottom of the band. Let's go up a little bit, make sure there's no one around us. A little bit higher. What was that? A little bit higher there. Let's see what the center of the band looks like. Uh, two to one. Let's go up to where I used to have to stay. Two to one there. It's not what the analyzer showed. Two point three to one. A little higher. Eh, two point four to one. So let's check twenty meters. Oops. 1.5 to 1 at the bottom. There's like nobody out here. Climbing. Oh, there's always FT8 going on. A little bit higher. I think uh, 20 showed a little better on the Analyzer too. Climbing. More. Fourteen two nine oh. Still under two. Let's go to the Detroit area code of three one three. Oh, there's somebody there. Never mind. Still under two. So let's go up close to the top. Still under two. So 20 looks better than 40. So we're a little long on the antenna. So here's 10 meters. I'm only going to do the lower part of it. Um, just because why not? It's a big band. So right at the bottom... There is, uh, it's pretty flat. There ain't nothing happening with that meter. Let's go up a little bit. Nothing happening there. That's looking pretty good. Still nothing. My tuner's showing like a 1.3 SWR. My external tuner. This is doing nothing. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, there's something. So you've got a pretty big so twenty eight five. That's that's where the technicians get to play. That's the top of their band. So very respectable, probably one point two to one. So here's six meters. I'm gonna do the same thing. I, I don't I'm I'm pretty much down within the first three hundred or so kilocycles on uh, six meters. So here's uh, the very bottom, a little under 1.5. That's looking good. Let's see, the calling frequency. Good. Go up a little bit more. Wow. Seems to be getting a little better. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Is anyone on FT8? Probably not. Oh, man. It's like perfect there. You can FT8 six meters till your heart's out. Let's go up a little bit more. 
Yeah, nothing. So where does this thing go? Where does it get out of whack? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we start to see the curve. But pretty big bandwidth. All right, well, I'd say overall, uh, not a bad looking antenna. If you're looking for something uh, to just put up pretty quick and get on multiple bands, like this guy, uh, I'd say it's a good fit. It's uh, about 85 bucks on their website. Uh, and it's, you know, four bands, 1500 watts. Throw it up and you're on the air. So um, I'll probably mess around with tuning it a little bit more, um, maybe shortening it just a touch. Um, especially 40 meters looked a little long. Uh, we saw a little bit higher SWR on the radio than we did on the analyzer. So um, that might be something to look into, maybe shorten it. Uh, just a little bit, but uh, definitely doable, can definitely tune it in. Uh, just, just with the internal tuner of the radio, I won't need to use my external tuner at all. But I have, uh, like I said earlier, I, I have set this antenna up before just to try it out when I first got it. And I was able to tune on other bands uh, with the external tuner. So much like my fan dipole that I had cut for 40 and 20. So I was on, it was resident on 40, uh, 20, 17 and 6 or 15 and 6, one of the two. I always forget whether it's 15 or 17. So I'm not on those bands too much. But um, now I just have 10 meters instead of 17 or 15 or whatever it was. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to leave it up all winter. This is going to be my antenna that I use at home. Uh, so I'm going to see what happens during this nasty winter that uh, they're already predicting we're going to get. So... Uh, not looking forward to that, and I'm sure the antenna's not looking forward to that either, but that's what I'm going to be using at home from now on, uh, at least until uh, until I get bored with it and put up something else. So I'll have links in the description. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell. Like it, share it, all that stuff. Uh, if you have questions, leave comments. You can also follow me on Twitter at K8MRD, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think or let me know what you're using at home. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff.